And from that, we move on to my favorite segment on the program, Check Me Out, our weekly showcase for Nigerians achieving great things around the world. Now, Lorenta Ego is on a mission to end human trafficking in Nigeria. She also has an NGO helping victims of human trafficking heal. Let's check her out. My name is Lorenza Igo. I'm an anti-human trafficking and child protection advocate with special interest in community development. Check me out. As a young girl, I've always nursed this ambition to become a medical doctor. So my first attempt to go into the Nigerian University, I applied for medicine at the University of Just and in Lorraine. I was given plant science and technology. I took the jam again in my 100 level. I took it again in my 200 level. I ended up becoming the real jam bites and I wrote jam five consecutive times. All these times I applied, I never scored less than the cutoff, but I never got medicine. So it was for me very distressing. One day I had my elder brother cancel me and he told me that sometimes when the desirable is not available, just whatever you have at hand, desire it and work hard on it. I was surprised at the convocation day. I was shocked to hear my name being called and I got the two vice chancellor award as the best student academically in my department and the best female. I lost my dad when I was just a little girl because he had gone to Sierra Leone for the peacekeeping mission and he couldn't make it back. I lost my classmate who was just a new convert. He was facing persecution from his other friends from other religions. Until this fateful day after the fellowship, he went back home and he was pushed by three unknown men from three-story building down to the floor. And that was how he passed away. So one of the things I did still while in school, together with my other friends and cousins, we started a movement called Lead African Peace Foundation. And part of it is to promote religious tolerance. So we, we, we try to create opportunities for dialogue. We go to sit with the imam, we go to sit with the priest and the pastors just to understand the issue and to discuss the way forward on how to bring about religious tolerance. I'm a graduate student of the Department of Criminology and Criminal Justice at Solent University, Southampton, UK. I feel really honored to be selected among outstanding cardinates to lead a research on the African continent. I was selected by the United Way Worldwide. I'm researching into an area of work I care very much about. Like, if you ever met a victim of human trafficking, if you ever see the trauma, what they suffer, you just realize naturally that you have a personal responsibility to alleviate their suffering. So I am the convener of Oxano Foundation for Empowerment and Development. Part of what we have done since 2012 was to do a lot of community mapping, trying to understand from the community narrative what their major challenges are, so we identify vulnerable families, we identify victims, we take them to NAPTIP, we refer them to proper shelters where they can get access to social security or they can get protection or access to justice in the cases where they are being violated. Well, I miss Nigeria so much for many things. I love food and then one of the things I really miss think nothing tastes like Nigerian food. We eat spicy, we eat variety, and yeah, and I also miss that spirit of community that is never lacking in Nigeria. I am Lorenta Igo, an anti-human trafficking and child protection advocate with community development interest, and you have just checked me out. Hats off, Lorenta. And from that, we'll take a quick reminder of our top story today. As Europe becomes the new epicenter of coronavirus, Nigerians in Italy and UK describe living conditions in the total lockdown. Just in the apartment for 24 hours and you are even scared to go outside. That is a terrible part. 
That's why we are drawing the curtains on the program today, but we want you to keep in touch with us. So connect with us on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. You can also get more updates from bbc.com for slash Africa and channelstv.com. Thanks a lot for staying with us on the program. I am Wale Fakile. Goodbye.